this enigmatic fiend at present, I suggest you expect the unexpected.
I see you're approaching the signal. The source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins. These ruins are closely connected with the life stream, and it's thought that they were created to help guide it through the veil. I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet. HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. And I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... hell. We wanted to help, we really did. But how? It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came, from the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another, unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. <sighs> we'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up. Taking each and every floor. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. <sighs> I think we have to assume they're all. That's enough. First, we'll check in with Matt. On it. 
Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the Splinter Cell. Uh, Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, uh, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Go on, eat up. Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. Come on, man. Get the lead out. Don't want to be left behind. Hey, thanks for the assist. All right, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah! yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> Go! I'll catch up! Right. We were all fired up. Ready to fight. him. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it. Don't worry. It's all good, bro. Huh? Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was Wedge. Barrett, those who pass on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but... It was probably just the wind. <sighs> Whatever. In times past, the Cetra came to fonts like these to give thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who return to the planet. Hey, Barrett, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. There anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe. Fix the fonts remotely. Thing is, little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> or Robo Chad if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Go on, ask him to do something. <laughs>
others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <laughs> What's that? I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. <laughs>